All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and elder bishops of Ray Millstone, who still got there in the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% true, according to the Bible, and Heruel, and Shalom, Labachorium, Wabarakium, Shayasharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel in the last Shalom Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And the name of this, this is going to be called, uh, you know, the speaking prophecy, man. Pretty much going into the prophecy. The spirit of the Lord will let me know the title. But you know, it's gonna be centered around us prophesying, man. You know? Starting off with the head of apostles, the elder bishops on down. As a matter of fact, let me start off with this precept. Start off with Jeremiah. Let me go to the book of Jeremiah 28. Let me see. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. It says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old both prophesied, which the word prophesied to means to say before, okay? What are we saying before it happens? The prophecies, man, okay? Concerning these times that we're living in now, in this generation, okay? And it says, um, both against, which means that we're not for it, okay? We're against something. We're in the opposition of it. So let's see what we're about to be in the opposition of. Prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdom. And Babylon, the great, which is America, is the greatest, wickedest kingdom that the Lord ever let rule on the planet Earth, man. Okay? So we're prophesying the downfall and destruction of it, man, according to the Bible. Okay? Because that's what it means to be against. See, people that are for America, they 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 wish for its prosperity, okay? But people, or which is us, that are against it, you know what I'm saying? We are uh, hoping for its downfall, you know, and destruction, according to the Bible. And it says it against great kingdoms of war, right? Race wars, economic wars, class wars, you know, World War Three. AKA the war, the end all wars, man. Okay. It says, and of evil, right? And of evil. Okay. Brothers and elders and elder apostles been reposting uh, that comment or that statement, as I should say, that Sleepy Joe said about um, the famine is going to be real, man. That's, that's a bad time right there. Okay. It's starting off with the head of apostles, the elder bishops. On, now we've been prophesying about the bad times that we're living in and what's going to intensify uh, before it happened, man. And it says, and of pestilence. See, and of pestilence. More incurable diseases is going to uh, start popping up as well, man. The Lord ain't done, okay? The Windows 19 was just the beginning, all right? The Lord got more pestilences, which is diseases, uh, is about to come out, man. Okay? So, um, that was the point on that one. So now, as I was, uh, breaking out that scripture, this precept popped into my head. This is actually one of my favorite precepts now. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 9. It says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, right? The former prophecies, the prophecies of old, like Noah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, during the time of Moses and then the first Exodus, okay? Uh, us going into slavery, losing our nationality, using our language, our heritage, man, you know? And also us getting it back, you know? And it says a World War One, World War, World War Two, of course, it says, the former things are come to pass, meaning they came to pass already, and new things do I declare, right? The prophecy that's going to happen in the last days of the last days in this generation, man, okay? 
which we just read in Jeremiah 28 and 8, wars, World War Three, more pestilences, which is diseases, and more bad times, man. Okay? Then you got Jacob's trouble. That's part of a bad time, which is martial law. Then you got the uh, hour of temptation, which is the mandate of that CHIP. That's a bad time, you know? And it says, uh, and that's new things that we're declaring in these times as well. It says, um, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. See, before they come to pass, we're going to tell you about it. Okay? Whether people accept it, believe it, or not, it doesn't matter. Okay? Because we're still going to go out there in the hours and hedges and make these videos on the internet to warn you, man, before it comes to pass. Okay? As we are commanded by Yahweh by Shemar Shah to do. Whether they hear, whether they forbear. So now, <clears throat> let's go to, uh, matter of fact, let's go to uh, Isaiah. Let's go back to the book of Isaiah, and then we're going to hit that second address. This is Isaiah chapter 55. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. It says, so shall my word be. That go forth out of my mouth. Now, who's the mouthpiece of the Lord? The servants, the prophets. Okay? According to Amos 3 and 7. The ones he's going to reveal the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Bible too. Okay? So, they're going to speak. We're speaking the words of Yahweh by Shemar Shah We speak according to the scriptures. It says, so shall my word, which is the Bible, the be that go forth out of my mouth, which is the servants, the prophets. <clears throat> it shall accomplish it's like a, it shall not return unto me void see it's not gonna come back empty man we're out there prophesying you know what i'm saying about the prophecies you know what i'm saying that we're that uh we've been uh prophesying for years and now that we're seeing starting off with a head of apostles the elder bishops on down you know it ain't coming back empty man you know because the lord is not a man that he should lie so now we're seeing it man we're seeing it more and more. That's why Yahweh Bashim uh put the spirit on Elder Apostle Tahar to deem this year the year of the turn up, man. The year of the Lord turning things up, man. All right? And indeed it is. Okay? It already started off with a bang in January uh, to, to now, man. This is uh, Isaiah 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, which means empty or without fruit. It says, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Meaning it's going to happen. The Lord saying, listen, if I say something is going to happen, it's going to happen, man. Okay. According to the scriptures. Okay. Because the Lord ain't a man that he should lie. So the prophecies. That we've been prophesying about for years. You know what I'm saying? We've been saying it's going to happen. Now it's happening slowly but surely, man. All right? And it's only going to intensify. It's only going to turn up. Okay? And who's going to do that? Yahweh by Shimei All right? So now, let's go from there to the book of 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. Let's see. 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And what's the words of prophecy? The Bible. Okay? Who was the Lord's people? The Israelites, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and as well as you Israelite foreigners, according to the seed of your fathers, right? And it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Once again, it's the Bible, this word. It says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, right? So the Lord put his spirit on us to do what we do, okay? To go precept upon precept and to understand these scriptures, man. It's, it's the spirit of the Lord, man, the Holy Spirit, all right? All, the credit, all credit goes to the Lord. It don't, you know, this is all of the Lord that we're doing this. Verse 2, it says, it caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, right? That's why we got the whole roll, okay? 
and it says in the in the prophecies that's because that's what it's referring to uh is faithful and true man the words that are written in this book are faithful and true and also you know the prophecies man that are written in these scriptures all right and it says verse three fear not the imaginations against thee right because a whole lot of people come up against us and they wish for our harm man a lot of a lot of you know the majority of the people want us to get put to death man but the scripture says uh don't worry about it it says fear not the imaginations against thee fear not the incredulity it's like it let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee and incredulity goes into unbelief man like romans 3 and 3 say like romans 3 and 3 say and four, it says, uh, shall their unbelief make the faith of your body shall without effect? The Lord forbid, man. All right? Because we know this is going to happen. Verse four, eventually, it says, for all the unfaithful, right? All of them. Not some, not majority. You know what I'm saying? I have. The scripture says, all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. Right? And this is going to be a terrible, gruesome death, you know? And the Lord's going to, you know, hey, he's, he's, he's sending the people to the spirit world, man. In particular, our people, you Israelites, man, for your unbelief, for your rebellion. It's been a whole lot of jakes, you know what I'm saying, that's getting, been, it's getting sent back to the spirit world, man. All right? And guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahushua controls and or, ordained that to happen, man. All right? For your unfaithfulness, man. So that was the precept on that one. So now let's hit this revelation. Okay, because this, this is because this a uh, matter of fact, it says, uh, uh, I said the spirit is on uh, the Lord on us to do what we do, right? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. This is when the apostle John saw the angel and he said unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, right? That backs up, uh, what's that, Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, which would be the Bible, it is because there is no light in them. They don't got the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai in them. <clears throat> and it says, I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren <clears throat> that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. That's who the war ignorant calls Jesus Christ. It says, Worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. For the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. See? So it's the spirit of prophecy. And that's what we mainly go into. We hear a great millstone, man. Prophecy. All right? So that proves that we got the spirit of Lord Yahweh Shah on us because that's what the Lord was doing. Well, he was on the scene. He was fulfilling the Old pro old Testament prophecies about himself. And he was also prophesying about uh, the times that we're living in now, man, of his return or what's going to be going on. OK, before he returns and when he returns, man. All right. <clears throat> so that's the spirit of the Lord. So that was it on that precept. So now. Let's see. Uh, let's head to this one. Let me see what this say. Um, this is. Uh, let me see. Excuse me. Yep, this is the book of uh, Romans, chapter twelve, verse six. Uh, yeah, this is Romans chapter twelve, verse six. It says, "Having then gifts." deferring yet deferring according to the grace that is given to us right see this is given to us man this is something that this is something this is something that was given to us by Yahweh Shah as a gift man okay and it says uh referring to the wisdom and knowledge and understanding that we have aka the fear of the Lord it says the grace that is given to us it says, whether prophecy, okay, and it says, let us prophesy according to the proportion 
of faith, meaning according to the talents that the Lord has given each brother, man. Okay? You know? So the certain, you know, and that's what we do, man. We push this word to the best of our ability according to the talents that the Lord has given us, man. You know, some brothers got more than others, but hey, we still all putting in that work through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemir al -Shah. You know, to, you know, Lord's will and we'll be able to be, be found worthy to escape their destruction. All right, that's going to be coming soon, man. Okay. So that was the point in that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what this says. And I'm going to pretty much wrap it up. Do the spirit power, y'all, by Shemasha. Let's see. Um, let's see. And I think that was pretty much the point. Do the spirit power, y'all, by Shemasha. By Shemachakwadash. I pray that it was edifying. Lord's willing to next time I say Shalom.